What if I told you that every AI system you've ever used, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, they're all doing it wrong? They're trapped in a prison of their own making. And the bars of that prison? Words. Today, I'm breaking down a paper that could change everything we thought we knew about artificial intelligence. It's called VL Jaipa, and it introduces something radical, an AI that understands the world without needing to speak. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll understand why the future of AI isn't about better conversations. <laughs> it's about silence. For more than a decade, AI has been learning to speak, first language, then reasoning through language, and finally seeing the world by converting everything into words. But here's the thing nobody talks about. Language is not understanding. Language is just a format. Think about it. When a child walks into a room, do they narrate what they see before understanding it? No. When you watch someone throw a ball, do you describe the motion in your head to recognize the action? Of course not. Meaning appears instantly, long before words. But modern AI does the exact opposite. It thinks by talking, and that's not just inefficient, it's fundamentally broken. Let me explain why. Current AI systems generate words one by one, token by token. And here's the crazy part. Until the final word appears, the AI itself doesn't truly know the answer. The meaning only fully exists when the sentence is complete. This isn't a speed problem. This is an architecture problem, and it creates a massive bottleneck for real-world applications. Think about robots. They can't pause mid-action to finish generating a sentence. Wearable devices can't afford delays in understanding. Autonomous vehicles must track what's happening continuously, silently, in real time. This is where today's vision language models begin to fail catastrophically. They're optimized for conversation, not for reality. So researchers at Meta AI asked a radical question with their VL Jeepa paper. What if an AI didn't need language to think at all? What if it could predict meaning directly and only use language when communication was actually required? Not because it can't speak, but because speaking is optional. VL Jeepa stands for Vision Language Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture. And it's built entirely on this assumption, a model that doesn't generate text by default. A system that builds a continuous internal understanding of images and video as events unfold. One that only converts that understanding into words if and when it's asked. This isn't about making chatbots better. This is about moving beyond them entirely. Here's what makes VLGPA fundamentally different. Traditional vision language models are trained to predict text they must care about grammar, phrasing, and style, even when none of those things change what's actually happening in the world. Two sentences that describe the same event but use different words are treated as completely different targets. This forces the model to learn surface-level language details that have nothing to do with understanding. In VL Jepa, that entire problem is removed. Instead of predicting words, the system predicts a compact representation of meaning, a semantic embedding. This embedding doesn't describe how something is said. It captures what is happening. Different sentences that express the same idea are mapped close together in this space. The model no longer has to guess the right wording. It only has to predict the right meaning. And this changes how learning works in a profound way. Real-world situations are often ambiguous. A single scene can be described in many valid ways. In token-based models, this creates a messy training signal. The model gets punished for choosing one correct sentence over another equally correct one. It's like being marked wrong on a test for saying the dog is running instead of a canine is jogging. In embedding space, those alternatives collapse into a single target. Learning becomes simpler, more stable, and more efficient. But here's the most important part. This understanding exists before language. The system doesn't need to generate a sentence to know what it thinks. Meaning is available immediately in a continuous form as images or video frames arrive. Language becomes a translation step, not the thinking process itself. And this is where it gets really interesting for real-world applications. Instead of reacting to individual frames like traditional systems, VLGPA maintains a smooth, evolving internal representation of what's happening. 
Early predictions may shift as more evidence arrives. Uncertainty gradually resolves into stable understanding. Actions are recognized not as isolated snapshots, but as events that unfold, persist, and end. This is the key distinction the paper emphasizes. Cheap Vision Systems label frames, VLG tracks meaning. It knows when something starts, when it continues, and when it's complete. That temporal awareness isn't added later as a hack. It's built directly into how the model learns. By separating understanding from language, the architecture allows the system to remain silent while thinking. It can monitor the world continuously without producing text. And when language is needed, it's generated from an already formed semantic state, rather than discovered word by word. This is why the VL JEPA paper describes the model as non-generative, even though it can still produce text when needed. Generation is no longer the core operation. Prediction of meaning is. Once understanding is separated from language, something unexpected happens. The system becomes dramatically more efficient, and I mean dramatically. Traditional vision language models carry a heavy burden during training. They must learn how to generate fluent text at the same time as they learn what the world looks like. That requires large decoders, massive parameter counts, and enormous amounts of data just to master surface-level language variation. VLJEPA removes that burden entirely. During training, there's no need for a large text generator at all. The model learns only to align visual input with semantic meaning. Language decoding is kept lightweight and optional, used only at inference time when a human-readable answer is required. The result? The number of trainable parameters drops sharply, <laughs> while performance improves. The researchers showed this in controlled comparisons. Same visual encoder, same data, same training budget. Predicting meaning directly learns faster and reaches higher performance than predicting words. With fewer parameters and fewer samples, VLGPA develops a stronger grasp of visual events, actions, and relationships. Meaning turns out to be a simpler learning target than language. Who would have thought? The efficiency gains continue at inference time too. Token-based models must decode every answer step by step, even when nothing meaningful has changed. VLGPA doesn't. Because it produces a continuous stream of semantic embeddings, it can monitor the world silently and only convert meaning into text when something significant happens. Decoding becomes selective rather than constant. In practical terms, the system doesn't need to speak just to think. It can observe continuously, update its understanding in real time, and remain quiet until a real event occurs. When decoding is triggered, it happens from an already stable semantic state, not from scratch. This reduces latency, lowers compute cost, and avoids unnecessary text generation. What emerges is a system that behaves less like a narrator and more like an observer. It watches first, it understands continuously, and it speaks only when there's something worth saying. This shift is subtle but profound, and here's why it matters for the real world. The real significance of VLGPA appears when the model is placed outside the chat window. In the physical world, intelligence isn't measured by how well a system explains itself. It's measured by how well it tracks reality as it changes. Actions unfold over time. Objects move, interact, disappear, and reappear. Understanding requires continuity, not narration. This is where language-first models struggle catastrophically. They observe the world in fragments. Each frame becomes a new description. Each moment resets the conversation. Without continuously generated text, their internal state collapses. They're reactive, not aware. They label what they see, but they don't follow what's happening. VL Jepa behaves differently. It maintains a persistent semantic state that evolves as new visual information arrives. Early interpretations remain tentative. As evidence accumulates, meaning stabilizes. Actions aren't guessed instantly. They're recognized when the system is confident they're real. This allows it to distinguish between noise and intent, between momentary appearance and actual events. And because this understanding exists without language, the model can operate continuously in real time. It doesn't need to explain each frame. It doesn't need to repeat itself. It simply knows what's happening moment by moment and updates that knowledge as the world changes. 
This capability is critical for robotics. A robot doesn't need a sentence to know that an object is being picked up. It needs to know when the action starts, when it's ongoing, and when it ends. The same is true for wearable devices, autonomous navigation, and planning systems. These systems require silent, persistent awareness, not constant narration. By predicting meaning directly, VL JEPA naturally supports this behavior. It tracks temporal structure without external memory tricks or repeated prompting. Understanding flows forward in time, uninterrupted. Language becomes an interface, not a crutch. Now, the VL JEPA paper is careful about its claims. It doesn't argue this approach solves everything. It doesn't attempt complex tool use, long horizon planning, or symbolic reasoning beyond perception and action. It doesn't claim to replace generative models in domains where language itself is the task. But what it does show is something more fundamental. That understanding the world doesn't require predicting words. That meaning can be learned more efficiently than language. And that real-world intelligence may depend on architectures that operate below the level of text. This suggests a future where AI systems are layered, a silent perceptual core that understands the world continuously and language models that sit on top, translating that understanding into human terms when needed. In that future, intelligence doesn't disappear when text generation stops. It finally begins. What VL JEPA ultimately points to isn't a breakthrough product. It's a direction. For years, progress in AI has been measured by how well systems talk. Better answers, longer conversations, more convincing explanations, but the physical world doesn't care how fluent an AI sounds. It cares whether the system understands what's happening and whether that understanding arrives in time. As AI moves into robots, vehicles, wearables, and agents that share our space, silence becomes a feature, not a flaw. The most capable systems won't be the ones that talk the most. They'll be the ones that understand continuously, like even when no one is listening. And in that sense, VL JEPA doesn't mark the end of language models. It marks the moment they stop being the center of intelligence. If this blew your mind, hit that like button. Subscribe for more deep dives into breakthroughs that are actually changing AI. And drop a comment. Do you think AI needs to speak to be intelligent? Or is silence the future? I'll see you in the next one.